Um, and I think this will this is humbling. And I think one of the big challenges for that, the, some of the recruits on, on on social media are still being very positive. Um, and, um, and and things like that. So I think I think that's a good sign for now, but I think there's gonna be a lot of heavy, heavy, heavily, sorry, a lot of heavy recruiting still of those guys that Oklahoma has got commitments from just to keep that um, intact. And remember this Texas team went five and seven a year ago. So, you know, things happen. Um, teams go through, go through phases based on situations. And, you know, um, I think a majority of this, I still blame on Riley in, in terms of how he left, he left this, this, um, this team in the situation he left them in. So, um, yeah, it's maybe a, a bit more of a rebuild than a lot of people thought, including myself. Um, but we'll see how things go. Um, we'll, we'll see, um, if, if things like that continue to, um, but continue to go downhill or, um, keep going. Um, but, but you guys that are here on the comments, um, in here talking about Venable should be fired. Um, you guys need to go get a life. That's, that's not, that's not even remotely accurate on what should happen. Um, and I mean, shame on you for being an Oklahoma fan and asking for, for a coach in six games to be fired. Um, it's completely ridiculous. Um, and it should, you know, it shouldn't be, shouldn't be said and it shouldn't happen, um, here. Um, so you rebuild. I mean, if this happens in year three, if this is what's happening, okay, I can maybe get on board with your commentary. Um, a little bit more, but tons of comments in this chat talking about and tons of things that I've seen on social media um, talking about Venables should be should be fired. Um, so 